Today we're going on an epic adventure with some friends who just flew all the way here from Texas. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! yeah. Who's here with us? It's the Superhero! Yeah. The Superhero Kids are the first channel that we ever collaborated with on Ninja Kids TV. They reached out to us a few years ago, flew all the way to Texas so we could do a video together. Do you guys remember that? Yeah! yeah. They flew to Texas oh, so they, we could do a video? No. <laughs> I always they have flew to, you know. from Texas. Look at her correcting me. I'm going back now. <laughs> so now they flew all the way from Texas to Puerto Rico, and we're showing them the sights. We're about to jump on this ferry and go to Vieques. It's a cool little island. Hopefully we get to snorkel, see some turtles, yeah. rays, all that kind of stuff. You guys ready for the adventure? Yeah! yeah. Let's do it. It'll be awesome. Let's go. There it is. There's our ferry. You guys ready for this? Yes, I, I can't even believe we made it. We all had to drive like crazy people to get here. I'm glad we made it safe. And then we got here, we didn't think we were gonna make it on, and they're like, oh, the ferry's delayed, so you're fine. I've never been so happy that my boat was delayed. Woo, we were the last ones on the ferry, and it pulled out 10 seconds after we got on, so. <laughs> I think I was on. still sitting there. We made it. <laughs> We made it to Vieques. This island is gorgeous. We're so excited to show you guys and the Superhero Kids family around. We are now in the bus to go to the beach without my hat because I lost my hat on the boat, which is sad. Aww. But anyways, uh, so it was fine. Like it was windy, but I was just down, like looking at my phone. And then I just stood up, and then it was just gone. It's a good thing we found a shuttle that had enough seats for all of us. Oh yeah, this is very convenient. <laughs> We've got at least half a cheek on the seat over here. Hello. Don't do this at home. We just arrived to Mosquito Pier and we're gonna go snorkeling out here. Peyton discovered the first sea life out here. What'd you find, Peyton? A starfish! Oh yeah, I did not know what found a second one. We're about to jump in the water. We just had a safety brief. Everybody's got buddies, right? We gotta make sure you have buddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We hear there's all kinds of animals in there. We've got starfish, jellyfish, octopus, and all kinds of other cool fish. So you guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Right. I'm about to go snorkeling and I have something called a Subalu. It's an underwater scooter. It can go really fast. Oh. It's super awesome. Check it out. Barracuda checking me out. That's what Peyton was nervous about. Somebody told her it would bite shiny things, and she's like, oh no, my earrings. <laughs> Peyton found a starfish. Let's see him. Starfish are beautiful creatures. If you ever find one in the wild, it's just like at SeaWorld. You don't want to pull them out of the water because they need to be in the water to breathe. And you want to be careful with their suction cups. It's sticking. They'll stick their suction cups to your hand, and if you pull off too fast, it can rip off the suction cup. So you want to be really gentle to not harm these beautiful creatures. I can feel it sticking to my finger. Whoa, look at my finger. They're all like stuck to that finger. I can't get it off. Got to be gentle. And on my thumb. How do I get them off? Did see, you see my let thumb? let go, yep. And then the suction cups go back up inside so it can protect them. I got them all off. Wow. This is so cool. This is such a gorgeous animal. I love these. The suction cups are stuck to my hand. Starfish don't appear to move, but they do. And they're, they're not plants, they're actually animals and they can walk around. They just move in slow motion. How do they walk? With their suction cups. I just cut my hair short from having the mohawk and the back of my head has not seen sun in a long time and it is burnt. Brighton also has a funky tan line. <laughs> Brighton has a bikini tan line from a video we made on Ninja Kids. I got pranked. <laughs> There's six horses. Oh my god! 
is just crossing the road everywhere we go. Look at that 3,700 year old tree right there. Our driver just said that's a 3,700 year old tree. I didn't even know there were trees that old. That's crazy. Oh, I'm too late. We already finished our meal, but we found this beautiful place. You guys enjoy your meal? Oh yeah, Woo! lots of fish. This place is called Bananas. That's crazy. Banana, see there's banana staff. <laughs> they, have there you go. they have great tacos too though. Like great fish tacos and is that what you got, Brian? I had fish and chips and a fish taco. Check out this view. But I don't think they sell bananas. No bananas, but they got plantains. Alright, we just arrived at our second location. Let's go see what the teenagers are up to. Shall we? Shall we? We just found this epic beach. Check it out. What are you guys doing over here? I felt a weird rock on my foot and then it pinched me. <laughs> I got pinched. We just found this amazing little island. We're gonna enjoy it. Yay. Yay. Ah. <laughs> so sorry guys. Is that what you wanted? I don't know what that was. No, that's not what anybody wanted. <laughs> There's stingray everywhere. I'm watching my step so I don't step on one. I almost stepped on that stingray, but I was watching for it. Did you guys see it? Peyton saw it swim away, huh? Yeah. so much awesome time with family and good friends. Yeah! We have a shout out to the person who got the correct answer for living on the top of the mountain video. The answer was Tempanogos. That person is Katie Anderson. Here's a shout out, baby. If you guys want, you can go subscribe to Katie Anderson's channel. Yeah! We've got a long four hour journey to get home, so we're gonna get started. We'll catch you guys next time. Stay super! Showed up. See you, dude. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs>